morning everyone. This is Michelle and welcome to Sunday Mornings with the Angels. We've got a very special message this morning. But now, before we continue, I want to share with you an update on the orchid in the bathroom. Can you remember that message that it was the orchid was dying and then um, it found its spot in the bathroom and it cannot be seen by others but it was happy in that spot and all of a sudden it just started like blooming and there was blossoming yes and then there was another flower and I recall sharing this message with you about once you find your spot and you stay there and you trust yourself you will grow there and don't worry about whether it can't be seen by others or you know why is it such a hidden spot or why is it this spot and not that spot but yet the orchid started growing there can you remember that message so please comment if you can remember that message so now I want to show you um, the bathroom <laughs> I'm sharing my bathroom with you this morning but look here just look at the beautiful orchids now so if you can recall the orchid in the bathroom message was which one was it it was this one and can you remember it was like drooping down but there were two flowers and it was blossoming and look at it now with a little bit of help from my son also nurturing it here in the bathroom and just look at that now there are lots more just look at them isn't it beautiful and guess what they are all in the bathroom and that is the message this morning because once you find your spot, it doesn't matter where it is. It matters that you trust it. You are in your truth. You are not worried about what other people are saying or what other people think of you. You're not judging it. You just grow there. You just trust where you are and you nurture yourself. And sometimes you'll have a mentor or a spiritual teacher or a friend or a guardian angel that comes and sometimes gives you some plant food and turn you a little bit and water a little bit. And then you stay there and you grow and you blossom. And then what happens is that your tribe will find you. The right people that resonate with your frequency, the clients, the friends, the partners, the opportunities, the blessings will gather because you are in your own, you're in your power and you do whatever it takes to blossom you. You are uniquely you. And if you trust yourself and you nurture within, you know, we know that, <clears throat> sorry, if you want to, if you want to change the world, if you want to change your life, you have to change from within and finding your spot like the orchid in the bathroom and then starting to blossom, you will attract opportunities, friendships, blessings, and allow yourself to be nurtured. Um, I can also remember, remember this was a little bit down. It was blossoming, but it was low. And so my son helped it up. Can you see? He helped it up. And sometimes we need a little bit of helping up. Yes? And that's okay. But once you've got that little help, it's all about being who you are and loving yourself and trusting in you and just look at that it's just blossoming and it's fine friends and they are all happy here and who would have thought it's the bathroom but it doesn't matter that it's not the lounge 
or the dining room table. It does not matter. It matters that it find its space. And also then what it does is it prettifies. Is there a word like prettifies? It brings beauty into the existing space. It brings beauty into the bathroom, which is another lesson for us. If you find your spot, you will bring beauty where you are to the people around you, to the space around you. Isn't that amazing? And that is an update on the orchid in the bathroom. Isn't that just beautiful? And I hope that it encourages you to to find your space and there's the ocean a bit of ocean air energy for you again this morning so I hope that this message encourages you this morning to find your space yes and to to trust yourself to be uniquely who you are without doubt, without comparison, without judgment, and do everything that you can to change from within, but change so that you can become fully who you are. Change so that you can turn around those limiting beliefs into beliefs that move you forward and that serve you, yes? Choose to, from today, believe differently. And it doesn't matter that you haven't done all the healing yet. It doesn't, you don't have to peel all the layers. You just have to start every day with a belief that speaks of love. With a belief that speaks of hope. With a belief that speaks of faith. With a belief that speaks of forgiveness with a belief that speaks of grace and you work with those energies and you work with those words and you carry them in your heart and whether you're getting dressed, whether you have a meeting, whether you're busy with an email and you remember, just think of hope, think of grace, think of gratitude, think of love and bring it in, bring it in, bring it in and you know what will happen the vibration and the healing power and the frequency that those words emit, you add them to the I am, which is the highest light energy, and they will become true for you in that moment. And the next moment you do the same, and then you're going to forget, and that's okay. And when you remember, you do it again. And the next moment you do it again, and the next moment you do it again. And eventually, you will not focus anymore on <clears throat> the suffering, and the effort, and the work it takes to peel all these layers before I can give myself permission to move forward. No, where you'll give your attention to is what will expand for you. So then you're expanding love, you're expanding grace, you're expanding gratitude, and it becomes bigger, and it heals you within. It heals what it needs to heal in order for you to be the orchid in the bathroom. And you blossom and you blossom and very soon you attract your tribe. And remember, that tribe carries work, blessings, friendships, partnerships, husbands, children, gathering, communities, clients, because you will attract the same frequency to you. It is my wish that this message today will guide you, that this message today will encourage you to be the orchid in the bathroom. And we have a very um, um, important weekly message for you because now we are going to ask, give us the guidance to take the first step to become the orchid in the bathroom. So we're going to use the guidance from the Whispered Guidance card deck. And then we're going to use the angel deck to ask which archangel can we work with this week to help us 
to shine our beautiful self and to blossom in this week. Share this message so that we can light up social media with love and light and encouragement and kindness and, and love. Oh, how beautiful. Let me show you. See how beautiful? Study, emerge, light. Oh, we just spoke about that. And Archangel Metatron there with the word of encouragement. Okay, so study. This is such a beautiful message because this message encourages us to learn more. So if you've now heard this message and you go, but I don't know the next step or I do know the next step, but I'm not really sure as to how to go about it. Well, how can you learn? Who can you ask? Is there a course that's been tapping on your heart, that's been nagging at your intuition? Is there perhaps a journey that you've always wanted to do? Do that now. Take the plunge and do it and study. You are guided to gain knowledge. The one side of it is the course or learning more about it or asking someone or also a spiritual mentor. Connect with a spiritual mentor and check in weekly or every second week or once a month if you have to and just check in and just soundboard. I have many clients that do that, that just check in and soundboard like once a month or once every two weeks. And we soundboard and we gather the learnings and we receive a message and then we carry on again. Yes, so gain knowledge. The other message that comes with this is if you doubt yourself, if you feel a little bit low in confidence, then gather your learnings in this lifetime. Sit a little bit with a review and go over your life and ask yourself, what lessons have I learned in my life? What will I do differently going forward? Then you're using your own life to learn from. Your own knowledge that sits in your solar plexus. And then the soul star chakra that holds all the soul's knowledge will then assist you because the soul star carries all the knowledge and learnings from your soul over all the lifetimes. So you will get to the understanding that you need to. So let's start off with gaining knowledge and look at this emerge. The word says you are guided to shine your beautiful being. It says emerge from the darkness, emerge from the despair, emerge from the self-doubt and feelings of inadequacy. You are a beautiful and unique creation of the universe. You are a child of God. Whatever you've been through, whatever you have achieved, whatever circumstances you have encountered, they have prepared you for where you are now. So trust it. Go forth and shine your beautiful light just as you know how. So you're going to get the help. You're going to ask for help. You're going to get a mentor. You're going to do the course that's been tapping on your heart. Or if it's none of that, you are going to take all of your learnings and circumstances you've been through and gather, gather, gather the wisdom. And then go forth and show up. Go find your spot. Find your spot where you are. And if it is now, right now, where you are, it's not about finding a new spot then that's okay. Stay there. Shine there. Shine there. As you saw this morning, the tribe will come. And then be light. This message, okay, so then we're going to start emerging. And then you're going to start experiencing standing up for yourself and speaking your truth um, and just being more you. And then maybe you're going to shed some stuff that in comparison feels heavy. So this is guidance to choose a lighter way of being. Perhaps it's a lighter way of eating and nourishing the physical body. 
perhaps it's a lighter way of emotionally traveling. In other words, you may be going to do some forgiveness and cutting cords and putting emotional situations behind you. Perhaps maybe it's a lightness of mental body and you are going to meditate frequently and consistently so that the mind feels lighter. Perhaps maybe you're going to move into spirit body and connect with spirit every day and pray every day and have a lighter way of being around carrying the worldly stuff all by yourself. No, you are going to have divine connections every single day. You are guided to then choose a lighter way of being. So, first of all, gain the knowledge. Shine your light, show up and emerge. And then, as you're comparing the frequencies and as there are situations and people that you're still carrying that feels heavier in comparison of your new way of being, then let it go. I want to read this sentence to you. Oh, also spring clean. Spring clean and let the light in. Allow the light to enter into your being and your existence. The lighter we are, the easier we travel. The easier we travel, the more we come to the understanding that there is a higher consciousness assigned to life. There is a higher consciousness assigned to purpose. And all that unfolds is in the light. And how beautiful is that to end off the week then with being lighter and then you choose this vibration to continue to travel going forward. The Archangel, how does this message resonate with you? Yes? And can you perhaps maybe journal a little bit or spend some time in reflection today and ask yourself, how can I bring this about in my life? Yes? Um, we'll post um, a recording of this message on the YouTube channel that you can maybe diarize or um, add to watch later so that you're reminded of it in the week to come. Yes, we will also post um, images of the cards afterwards so you can remember or be reminded. Share with us how is this message serving you? Do you resonate? Do you perhaps know of anyone else that will benefit from traveling lighter? Share this message to them. Let us share the light. The angel to work with, Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron, what a great teacher. A teacher of ascension. A teacher that assists us to to grow, to let go of limiting beliefs, to bring in beliefs that are serving us. A teacher that can assist us to work with the new 12 dimensional chakras. Yes, and to just to, to clear them, to activate them. Wow, I have learned so many amazing teachings and messages and insights from Archangel Metatron always also guiding us on the retreats really just amazing and the message that he's guiding us is prioritize so if we've got all of these beingness to tap into then the message is prioritize what is the highest priority for you now the message specifically says focus on your highest priorities I will help you get organized and motivated. And that's really true. You know, if you feel demotivated, if you're procrastinating, or if you feel overwhelmed by how on earth, where am I going to start, how am I going to do this, Archangel Metatron, I need your help. Archangel Metatron, and you move into that Merkaba, into the cube, and you do a meditation, and you clear the old, stale, tired energy out. Clear it out and see this beautiful new healing energy coming in and the golden light of the Merkaba and let it fill you up, fill you up with that golden energy. 
and then you pray and you ask the divine beings you ask God and the universe and source of creation to just fill you up with that golden energy of motivation and encouragement and hope and faith and love so that you are in discernment so that you step into the true power and energy of your soul and then you speak with Archangel Metatron as if we're a friend okay help me do this help me get motivated here what is the next step for me how can I think differently about this guide me to the right person to get the knowledge that I need right now guide me to the right course that I read need right now help me to show up with confidence today and to trust myself and to believe in me and myself and show me whatever I need to release to have a lighter way of being and Archangel Metatron will speak through your intuition, through your heart, through repetitive thoughts, through repetitive feelings that you get. Spend time in connection. Have a routine. Have a ritual where you connect daily and you will receive the wisdom, the encouragement and the motivation you need. Thank you so much everybody. I trust that you have been that you have been motivated, inspired and that you have felt the love of the universe through this message this morning.